In today's video, I am going to show you how you can SSH into a VirtualBox Linux environment. So what we are going to do is to configure a Linux environment, uh, which is virtual, okay, a virtual Linux environment. What we are going to do is to configure this virtual Linux environment, and then we can SSH into it. So I already have mine here. I use VirtualBox to create a virtual Linux environment. This is Ubuntu, by the way. So that is what we will use. So I will first start it. And then I will install the OpenSSC server. So I will say sudo apt get install OpenSSH server. So I will install this. Okay, OpenSSH has been installed. So I will first check my SSH status. I will say sudo system ttl status ssh okay so it says that the ssh service is now active okay so i have this there so because i'm active i can proceed with the next activity so i will now close this virtual environment i will shut it down And then I'll come to my, my virtual environment here. I'll go to settings. I have to make sure I have highlighted. If you have more than one virtual environment, make sure you click on the one that you want to configure. And then go to settings. And then when you're under settings window, go to network. And then here you'll see adapter one, which is enabled. We'll go to adapter two. And then we are going to enable it and then we will come here the attach to you will select nuts and then we click on advanced and then we will go to port forward and then here we will set a new port forwarding rule so we will click this one here then here the name you can say ssh here we will leave it as it is when we come to the host port, you can decide what number you want to use. For now, let's see 3022. And then the IP you will leave it. Host IP you will leave it. Guest IP you will leave it. And then when you come to guest ports, you will use 22, which is the default SSH ports. So this is what you will do. After that, we will click OK. Then we can click OK to finally save this change. So now we have to start the virtual environment again. So click start to boot it. Okay, so now I have logged in to my system. So I will go to my host OS. What we have here is a guest OS. Okay, because it's the virtual environment, it's the guest. So I will go to my host system. And then open my terminal there. My host system is also Linux. It's also Ubuntu. So I will open a terminal here. Yes, yeah, so this is my host system. Okay, so I'm now going to SSH into it. So I'll press enlarge it and then I'll do this. So I'll say SSH and then I'll give a username okay the username i use in my guest os so ssh the username is this one here and then i will say at and then i'll give this ip address 127.0.0.1 this is the default ip address and i'll say dash p and i'll say 3022 okay this is what i have i set a port so that is why i'm using this one but you can decide to leave the ports but i wanted to do this so that i don't have any conflict with what uh, configurations i have on my system so that's why i set this part but you can decide what you want to do so i will do this and then i will log in so i'll enter this command now 
because this is my first time i'll have this from so i'll just type yes and then i'll enter the password for the remote um, system so i am currently in the guest environment so i can check what i have i can do an ls and i see this one here now let's go back to the virtual box okay let's use what we have already opened this is my main operating system my host so i'll do this i'll move to the virtual box environment i want i want us to check something just to confirm that whatever action we will take here will be affected or will be reflected in the operating system the guest one so let's open the guest one this is the guest one at the moment so let's go to the home let's enlarge this here let's make it a bit larger yeah i'll do this so this is my home okay so there's my home and you can see that i have these uh, directories here eight of them so i'll go back to my terminal okay the one i was using to log in remotely i'll go back there and then issue some commands and you'll see what happens so this is the terminal now. Let's just uh, minimize it. We just want to compare what we will see here. So now I'll just do this. I'll say make that and I'll just say Linux. So you can see that it has be reflected here so that means that we are successfully logged in so we are now able to issue our commands um, via ssh i can also say touch liner slash hello.txt that will create a file so i can do an ls again here i'll see linux and i do an ls into linux i'll see this text file here which i just created so this is how we configure an ubuntu virtual environment okay this is how we configure it so that we can ssh into it so let me also get your comments if you have any additional information which should be helpful just put it in the comment section let's all discuss and then learn something new so thanks for watching this video